There she is, lads. I tell you, that's some pitch. That is it. It's in Colin Barnett's pitch, home of Labour GEA Club. Colin Barnett would be proud of her. He would. I tell you, lads, God made the world, but I made that pitch, boy. Call with the rent for the field. Thank you, Mr. Clancy. Sorry, Mrs. Gilhooley, we were just wondering, would you be interested in selling it? I don't approve of athletic activity. Gaelic or otherwise. Sweaty young men, semi naked, cavorting with their balls in their hand. Every second Sunday, Mr. Clancy. Sunday. I know, but. It was Robert that made that agreement, and I've continued it in his memory. Now, I'm not in the habit of repeating myself, but if I had my way, you and your ball hopping yahoos wouldn't get within a nasty. No, but. The matter is closed, Mr. Clancy. Well, tough as Thorny Wire, all right. Yes, I bet she is, and more. That was before I turned on the old Dan the Man charm. And? Put it in me hands, boys. Put it in me hands. Oh. Is she going to sell it? The field? In all fairness to you now, she didn't say she would sell it. I'm not in the habit of repeating myself, says she. But I, on the other hand, I'm in the process of reviewing my... Property portfolio. My property portfolio. What's a portfolio? <laughs> What's a portfolio? What's a portfolio? <laughs> Loser. What is a portfolio, then? Well, all I'm saying is the pitch belongs to us, and that's right and proper. Top of the morning, you officer. How can I help you? Where's the rest of it? I beg your pardon? The car. Is this all there is? Yeah, it's a bit small, okay. Small? I'm surprised there isn't a handle for carrying it. Yes, I love the way she says that. What? I love the way the way the girl who says, I'm not in the habit of repeating myself. I'm not in the habit of repeating myself. I'm not in the habit of repeating myself. Oh, yes, come on, Timmy, that's it. Mr. Walsh. Yes, ma'am, what can I get you? I'm not in the habit of drinking strong liquor, as well you know. But for the day of the synod, I'll have a small sherry. I'm given to understand that you hold an auctioneer's license. Well, you're half right. I hold auctions. I've decided to put the field up for public auction. Uh, you man down the pitch. I think you find, Mr. Higgins, that the field belongs to me. Well, if... Public auction to the highest bidder, Mr. Walsh. That'll be 280. Ah, you old bag. You just missed the widow. You lowly. I'm going to sell the pitch to the highest bidder. Sure, that's fair enough. Sure, it's my pitch. Everybody knows that. Sure, who'd bid again me anyway? Oh, you're the Dan, you're the Dan, you're the Dan. Where do the batteries go in? Runs on gas. Gas? Hmm, petrol. How many pints does it take? There may be outsiders at that auction. Outsiders? Yeah. Would these be the same outsiders that dubbed our dressing rooms and cow dung after the under-14 final? Ah, jeez, it done. Would these be the same outsiders that stole two bales of hay from Paddy McGurty's bottom field? The same outsiders that dubbed our rivers at Lyme and Hurleys and left us without a trout evermore? Now, Dan, the trouble between us and the Harney boys is over. Over? Over? It's over because I drove them out of here. Me and my kind. You did, Dan. Now, the widow Gilhooley will get her money. And the priest is Easter Jews. I'll have a round drink for everybody here. Good man to Dan. Look, officer, can we move things along here? I'm on a tight schedule. Can I interest you in a pair of furry dice? Furry dice? Aye, dice. I know how this routine works. 20 bucks cover it. Sure, for 20 bucks, you'll get two pairs.
Well, 5,384 euros. That's all the club has. Surely that'll be enough. Well, between me and you, the reserve is 5,000. God bless the work, lads. Father, can I get you something? No, not today, Jaxie. I just popped in to see if there was air bit of our music on this evening. There is. Dave McGee and the Hannon Triplets, every Thursday night. Two of the triplets still in England? They are. The Adriscoll twins are filling in for them. Sure, some one of them in hospital. They are. Trevor Bourne's going to play instead of them. And Dave McGee is home from his holidays? No. John McLaughlin's going to play instead of him. So who is playing tonight, then? Dave McGee and the Hannon Triplets, every Thursday night. Look at Jaxie. I have a yank calling up to the Procol House this afternoon. And judging by the sound of his letter, he's a few old bob to spend, and he's mad into that music, so I promise him a bit of an old session. All right, so. All right. Bye, then. <laughs> Nurse Maloney's in here tonight. Tonight could be the big night, Timmy. How many of you men enough to dance with the Nurse Maloney? Now's your chance, Timmy. Up you go. Hey, up with you. Are you all afraid of the Nurse Maloney? Huh. I'll dance with you. I'll dance with the Nurse Maloney. <laughs> Three acres, two gold posts. Oh. Mm -hmm. Three acres, two gold posts, and a dressing room. Now, who'll start me off? There must be some interest in this field. Ah, for fuck's sake, lads. 4,999 euros. 4,999 euros from the bowl man, Jimmy. 4,999 euros. Do I hear five? 4,999 euros going once. Going twice. 5,000. 5,000 from Dan the Man Clancy. Are we all done at 5,000? You're the Dan, you're the Dan. 5,000 euro going once. Going twice. 6,000. What? Dollars, guineas, whatever. 6,000 euros from the American gentleman with the toy car. 6,000 euros it is so. 6,000 euros going once. Going twice. Have you a license? Ah! Oh. Have you a license? You know very well I don't, Dick. Well, under Section 3, Paragraph 9 of the Auctioneering Act, 1894, I declare this auction null and void. And what the hell is that supposed to mean? It means it never happened, and this is an illegal gathering. Now clear the streets, nothing to be seen here. Time for a pint, so. These are yours, by the way. Dan, at the end of the day, it's only an old pitch. Only an old pitch? Only an old pitch? I remember this time, my father and myself, we were lying on the pitch. The mother was helping. She was in one corner fly, I was in the other. A bag of lime burst. Keeled over, so to speak. The mother covered him. The father says to me, run, get a cloth. I said, no, we'll hang the nets first. We'll hang the nets first. The father looked at me with 
tears, pride in his eyes. Because he knew, he knew I'd look after that pitch. Ah, John. And if you think that I'm going to meet my mother in heaven or hell without that GA pitch, you have another thing coming. Excuse me, Father, you wouldn't have a drop of water there, a bit of a dryness in my throat. Dan, will you hear the man out? Dan, on his deathbed, my father wanted to return to his ancestral parish and bestow a gift. Dice didn't fall too well for my father, but they did for me. Dan, here's the deeds of the Believer GA pitch. Dan, the pitch is yours. Now go play ball. Dan! Time for a celebration, so.